Hi, and welcome back. So today we've got the Doyaki wireless RGB Joy-Cons for the Nintendo Switch, which we're going to put on my Nintendo Switch OLED. I'm going to show you them, review them, open them. I have not opened this box yet, so we will be unboxing them for the first time on camera. I'm super excited. These are going to be awesome. A lot of cool features, one especially that's awesome, which I will show you, but we're going to dive into this. I'm going to show you all the features, how everything works, and, and give you my honest opinion about these. Uh, I purchased these myself, so this is not uh, a sponsored thing or anything like that. So let me turn the camera around and let's get right into it. Okay, so this is the Doyaki wireless RGB uh, Joy-Con controllers, but the special thing about these, the best feature of all, they have Hall Effect joysticks. joysticks. So what is that? Well, the sticks, uh, on a normal Joy-Con, you know there's a very common problem, I'm sure you've heard of it, which is stick drift. Well, the reason that happens is because of the stick uses a potentiometer where it touches little micro switches to control where you're pointing. The problem is there's wear in that, there's friction and it wears out and you end up getting drift where you, on screen, you're moving when you're not moving the, the stick. It's, it drifts because of the wear and tear in the sticks. These, Hall Effect uses a magnetic field. There is no contact, nothing touches anything, no friction in these sticks. So you will never get stick drift, ever. It's a solution, permanent fix for stick drift. I am super psyched about these. They also have awesome RGB lights, which I'll show you. Uh, okay, so the features, this has a six axis gyro, so they do support the motion control. Dual vibration, so they do vibrate. It's not HD rumble, but they do vibrate. They do work wirelessly, which I will demo and show you. They uh, have turbo function. You can map, uh, there are paddles on the back, which you can either map to another button, or you can even program macros, and you have all the lighting, which is awesome. Uh, nothing on the top. Over here, they just told you about wireless mode, about, um, installing on the frame, which is this here. So you can use it like kind of like a pro controller. Uh, and then, or you can attach it for handheld mode, which is what I'm going to do most of the time, which is why I wanted it. Uh, but here on the back, it tells you that it has programmable functions. It tells you how to do it. Press and hold the M button while inputting the edit button. Once you release the M button, the controller will vibrate. The back button functionality is now configured. The M button, there are your paddles, which I'll show you. Um, these are going to be awesome. I am super psyched. It says they take three hours to charge and they last six and a half hours. I'm not so sure about that. We'll see. So let's get into this. Let's open it up, see what we get in here. I'm super excited about these. I have been waiting for these. Oh, by the way, uh, I ordered these directly from Doyaki website. Uh, and a couple things. It only took five days to come. They do come from China, but it only took five days from the day I ordered it till the day I received it, five days. The other thing is um, the sh I got a tracking number, the shipping tracking number, and it was like a AliExpress tracking number, which was odd. So it was kind of hard to, oops, to take care of. So this was in the bottom, the connector. Okay, so we have that. And then let's pull this out and we'll pull it out on the table. So we've got a USB-A to USB-C charge cable, which we won't need. We've got some instructions, which I will take a look at. And here we have the Joy-Cons. We can't call them Joy-Cons. I think that's a copyrighted Nintendo thing. But wow, oh my God. These feel so much better in the hand. And look at that. Whoa, and they also have an, an RGB strip on the side, which I'm going to show you. These feel fantastic. They have the buttons here. They have a pairing button here. Uh, oh my gosh, these feel so good in my hand. They're fantastic. I love these. Um, let me show you how they work with the connector here. So you just slide them on. That's upside down. No, that was right. Okay, so they're snug. They slide on pretty snug, which is okay. And it's like a, um, a uh, pro controller. It really feels good. The size is nice. The buttons feel nice. Um, on the back, you have these programmable paddles, which they tell you about. 
Here are your, uh, the bottom one is vibrate for each one. And the top one is to map this button here. You use the M button. On the front of each, you have a, uh, let's see, what do we got here? You have a home button and a turbo. Here you have the square button and a turbo uh, setting mode. Here you have your minus, your plus. Wow, this is, it feels really nice. The sticks to me don't feel any different than my Joy-Cons. It feels pretty well the same. This is fantastic. They do have a flat spot on the bottom because when you have these on, since they're wider, uh, I don't know how effective the kickstand will be, but you can stand it. Although the point is, if you have these, you're playing it in handheld mode. And if you're not, you're taking them off and using the kickstand. So I'm not real worried about the flat spot. They do have the release buttons like they should. So let's take them off of here. Um, this is so cool. This one, the left one seems very tight, but I'm not worried about it. So let's put them on my Switch and see how they, they pair. Let's see. Oh man. Let's see if it's stiff going on the Switch as well. No. Okay, wow. These are awesome. Holy crow. Um, oh my goodness. I have this turned off, not in sleep mode, so let's turn it on. Um, oh wow, these are so nice. They feel so much better to, to use than the, oh man, this is way better. So they've automatically paired immediately. Everything's working just by plugging them in. I haven't done anything to them. All I did was to pair them and they, I mean, hook them on here and they've, they're done. They're paired. These are so nice. All right. So if you go to settings, which I'm gonna do, I wanna go to controllers. Um, blah, 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 blah. What did I wanna look at? Um, I wanted to calibrate, calibrate the control sticks. So let's tilt the stick, okay? And then it says, uh, let's see, check that is, blah, 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 press X, check the following. Plus is shown instead of dot when the stick is not being touched. Turn the stick and check that the circle color changes. Yup, it does. Really looks good, okay. Press X to recalibrate if the stick is not working as expected. Uh, I'm gonna calibrate them because I wanna try. Okay, so push it all the way to the left, release. Push it all the way down, release. Push it all the way left, release. Push it all the way up, release. Turn it in a circle. Calibration complete. So now my left stick is complete, calibrated, awesome. Let's go back to Y. Wait, 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 cancel. Oh, back, B, sorry. Now let's do the other stick. Okay, we're gonna do X. Uh, wait, I did that. Oh, I hit B, that's why. Why am I hitting the wrong thing here? There we go, uh, X to calibrate. Okay, so we're gonna go all the way left, release. All the way down, release, all the way left, release, all the way up, release, go in a circle. Calibration complete. Awesome. Okay. So they're calibrated. I don't know that I had to do that, but I like it. Um, these are so awesome. They feel so much better. Um, really, really, really nice. So pairing was easy. The feel is really great. One thing I want to point out. So these are kind of smooth on the top, but on the bottom, they have like a texture. I don't know that you can see it real good here with this light, but it's textured where you're holding it and it's fantastic. They do uh, stick down a little further, but when I'm holding it, I'm not grabbing that at all. I mean, I'm grabbing it, you know, whoops. I'm grabbing it, it's really nice. It's so much more, I can't get over how much more comfortable this is. It feels so good. To, to do the lights, so the, what you do is you press the turbo button and click the, the um, stick to change it, and you're changing the color, and you can just keep clicking, and this changes with it, right? And then if you double click, you get like a breathing mode where it should change colors and fade in and fade out and stuff like that, right? Pretty cool. But what you can also do I want to do red, I think that's red, but what you can also do is if you press 
the turbo and you instead of clicking the stick, you click your, in this case, plus button, you can just change this separately. And if you double click it, I can put this in breathing mode. So I'm gonna have my LED strips in breathing mode where they're gonna change color and do all kinds of cool stuff, but the front's gonna stay red. I like that better. So I'm gonna do that on this one as well. So you press and hold turbo and double click this. And now this one should go into breathing mode. Let's make sure, make sure I did it right. Yep, there it goes. It's breathing, changing colors. This is so cool. I love these. Um, this is so really fantastic. The buttons, these buttons all feel really good. Um, really, really nice. Uh, oh, if it's in sleep mode, let's see if they wake it up. So if I press the home button, wakes it up, right? Perfectly. Oh, I just took a screen capture, but they wake it up perfectly. Um, so if I put it back to sleep and I remove the joy, these off the, off the, um, off of the, the switch, hang on, let's open the backup. Hold on one second. Ooh, I just realized that, that's care, you gotta be careful. So now wirelessly, if I press the home button, right, as soon as the home button, press the home button, wakes it up wirelessly. So they wake up the switch exactly as they should, no issues there, fantastic, really, really nice. I love it, um, so nice. And when you're playing it, the lights don't go out. They'll stay on. I mean, they'll go out after, I think, some time of, of not, you know, no activity or whatever. But holy crow, these are fantastic. And then you can set them on the flat spots if you want to. Uh, because the, yeah, they tell you to do this from the middle, but it is tricky. Because the kickstand, unless you lean it way back, it doesn't reach. So with them connected. But again, if I want to use a kickstand, I'm going to be using this piece. So I'm not really overly concerned about that. So I'm not really worried. The turbo buttons, um, so the way that tur the turbo works is on the back, you've got, uh, oh no, actually on the front. So let's say, let's do this. Let's go to here. Let's go to controllers. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, controllers. Somewhere in here is where you can test them, I think. Calibrate touchscreen sensor, test input devices. So test controller buttons. So if I press, let's say A, I get one press. If I hold it, I get one. If I do turbo and A, now when I press A, let's back out and go back in, hang on. Let's do it again. So now if I press A, I get two. And if I hold it, it's permanent. Now let's go back out again and see what happens if I press turbo and A again. The third time it's permanent. It's just going, which you don't want. So you either have single turbo if you hold it, which is what I like, or permanent. We're going to go to single right now. Okay, so that's how the turbo function works. The way that you, um, you map the rear buttons, so the rear button on this, this one, this little paddle, which is really in a great spot, you can map only the buttons on this Joy-Con. The rear paddle on the other one, you can only map to the buttons on that one. And the way that you do that is using the top button on whichever Joy-Con is the map button. So what you do is you press it, and then you, while holding it, you press, in this case, A. So now, and it vibrated. So now the back paddle button is giving me an A. Now, what I'm curious about is if I do turbo and the back paddle, it put it on permanent. So let's see, wait, wait, wait. So I only get one for that, but will I get turbo on the back? No. So if you do turbo on the paddle, it does a permanent turbo only. You can't just do like a regular turbo on the paddle. And what if I do turbo on this one? And then what does the paddle do? So the paddle doesn't get turboed, but this one does. So that's a cool way to have the button be both turbo and non-turbo at the same time. I wish it could have been the other way. I wish I could have made the paddle be turbo and the button be the not turbo, but 
that's still pretty cool. Um, so yeah, this is awesome. The turbo works great. The vibration, which I did feel when I was doing that, um, you can adjust. So the way that works is on the back here, the bottom button is your vibration setting. So what you can do, whoops, whoops, I don't want to be in there. Hold on a second. Let me get out of this. Hang on. Okay. So let me close this. Nope, not that one. Uh, close. Okay, so what you can do is you press the bottom button and you get vibration, two, and then no vibration. One is high. Oh no, they get lower. High, two, three, four, and no vibration. So I want the high vibration, I guess. Well, actually, I don't need the high vibration. Let's see. Uh, we'll do middle. And the same here. There you go. So you can adjust the vibration. Really, really, really cool. Um, I love this. Uh, so now I want to show you a couple other quick things with it. So I'm going to take it in the other room and show you some other things I want to point out. Okay, so one thing I want to show you, you can dock it perfectly. It's docked in your dock with these connected, no problem at all. It works fine. It docks just right. It guides in. Everything works. One thing I will say is that your USB ports, the upper one is kind of blocked, but you still have the lower one. So just keep that in mind. But it docks fine, no problem with these connected. It docks absolutely fine. I don't use my this dock. I have an open dock, um, but it docks just perfectly fine. So I wanted to show you that, that you don't have any issue with that at all. Uh, I'm now going to show you one other thing here. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is about charging. So you can, these each have a USB-C connector on them, so you can charge them individually. I have no intentions of doing that because I'm going to show you, if you look in here, they are charging. Both controllers are charging, you can see the little lightning bolt, right on the switch. So you don't need to charge them individually, which is fantastic. This is so great. I love that feature. Very, very, very nice. Uh, so they charge right on the right. I'll show you the length of this with these, the difference. I'm gonna, and when you put this to sleep, by the way, the controller, the, the lights go out, which is awesome to save some battery. But what I want to do now is I want to show you the difference in length of this. So let me set that up, I'll be right back. Okay, so I wanna show you the length, the difference. So if I line up the original Joy-Con here, I'll hang on, my little tape measure is messing up on me. It's, all right, well anyway, if I line this up, it's definitely an inch, it's an inch wider on each side. So that means when you add these, it adds two inches to the overall length of this. But let me tell you, the comfort of holding on to this is so much better. Oh, by the way, plus you get a D-pad, which is really nice. Uh, this thing is fantastic. I love it. So all in all, I think the Doyaki Joy-Cons or Connect, you know, controllers, whatever you want to call them, are the best. I love them. I've used them now. They're comfortable. They feel so great in the hand. They do make it about two inches longer overall. So that's the thing to consider your case. They're not gonna fit in your case. I actually did order the case from Doyaki um, for the uh, this, but there's not a lot of room in it. Like there is a spot in the top, but there's not a lot of room. You could not bring your power supply in this case. So keep that in mind. It's nice to keep it safe. You're not bringing a power supply in this case. Um, but yeah, I love this. It does make it bigger, so it won't fit in your case with these on, but it's fantastic. I love it, and it's great. So that's my review. Two thumbs away up and no more uh, uh, stick drift. So thanks again. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't yet, please consider clicking that subscribe button. Really, really helps. Uh, give me a thumbs up, share, comment. I'll answer your comments, and we'll see you next time.